Yes, good morning. Okay, everyone, please remain standing for opening prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Good morning once again, class. All right. I am your teacher for today. I mean one of your teachers. Since I have my colleagues here, I will introduce them later. For now, you can call me Teacher Jen. My full name is Jean Bacolod. So before we formally start our discussion, please pick up the pieces of paper under your chairs. All right. Align your chairs. Very good. And now, arms forward raise. Very good. Sideward. Very good. All right. Please take your seats and we'll have our attendance. Say present when your name is called. Jeanette Elendag. Present. Very good. Angelica Saluberes. Present. Very good. Anarisa Suarez, present, very good. And generate the tour, very good, present. Let us clap our hands for a perfect attendance. All right, so to formally start the discussion, now our main topic for today, let us first have our recall. What was our lesson all about? Last meeting. Yes. Generate the tour. Yes. Very good. That's it. And any more learnings from our previous topic? Yes. Angelica Saluberes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Everyone really understands our previous topic. Now... Let's have an energizer first. Let's motivate ourselves for our next topic. First, let's have a game. This game is called Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down. Alright, here is the instruction. Listen carefully, okay? I will choose four students to be here in front with me and the remaining of the class well, bow down their head, close their eyes, and let their thumbs up, let your thumbs up on the air, right? Like this, like this, but your thumbs on the air, all right? So, the four students here, I'm going to choose, or the chosen one, well, pinch your thumbs, what I mean is that they will thumb down like this. They will pinch like this, your thumb. And after that one, when everyone or the four students already chosen, have already pinched your thumbs, they will come here in the front, come back, and I will announce to open your eyes. Yeah? And then you will guess who among the four students pinch your thumb? If you guess it correctly, you will have your prices from me. Huh? All right. But before you get your prices, the four students must experience what you do. And one of you also experience the four students do. All right, do you understand? Okay, very good. So, what was that again? Uh, all right, if you guess correctly who pinched your thumb, then you'll replace that person here. And that person will close his or her eyes and the game continues, all right? So, these are our prizes. 
this one. These are some or of prizes. And this one. Anyone who wins on this game will have one of these prizes. All right. Now, please, um, Angelica Saloberas, Jeanette Elanda, January Tutor, and Arisa Suarez. Please, you are the chosen four. Okay, four students to facilitate the game. Start. All right, congratulations, everyone. Did everyone enjoy the game? All right, very good, very good. Let us clap our hands, everyone. Clap ourselves for a job well done. Oh, congratulations to the winners. You will enjoy your prizes, but you will not eat that today, this time, okay? Eat that later, or you can bring that at your home. All right. Good morning once again, class. Before we proceed to our topic, let us read our objectives. Okay. At the end of the lesson, 85% of the students will be able to define what is system of linear equations, graphing, substitution method, and elimination method. Solve systems of linear equations involving two variables by graphing, elimination and substitution and integrate the value of patients in solving system of linear equations involving two variables we can attain all of those objectives if you will cooperate participate and behave am i clear but before we formally start our proper discussion let's have an activity this activity is entitled crossword puzzle I will divide the class into two groups. Each group will be given a crossword puzzle pasted at each side of the board. Each group will be gathered here in front and you will form your line and take turns in picking a paper in this box that contains question. Your answer is written at the crossword. Those group who will complete first the crossword puzzle will be the winner. Understood? Are you ready, class? Okay, the time starts now. And the winner is group one. Let's give them three claps. One, two, three. Okay, you may now take your seat. Based on our activity, what words did you discover? Okay, Miss Monel. Very good. So, another one. Okay, Miss Young. Very good. It's substitute. Another one. Correct. Eliminate. What else? Okay, graph. Based on those words, who can guess what is our topic for today? Miss Angelica. Very good. Our topic for today is all about solving systems of linear equation involving two variables by graphing, substitution, and elimination. First, we will discuss the graphing to be discussed by our teacher, Jem. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jemery Anius. You can call me Teacher Marie, and I'm your teacher for today. Again, our topic is about solving system of linear equations involving two variables. Any idea about this topic? None? Okay, let's proceed. Now, what is system of linear equation? Okay, everyone read. System of linear equation is two or more linear equations that are being solved simultaneously or at the same time, it is a set of two or more linear equations that have variables in common. Now, these two linear equations are in the form of ax plus by equals c and dx plus ey equals f, where a, b, c 
D, E, and F are coefficient and X and Y are variables. Very good again. Where A, B, C, D, E, and F are coefficient and X and Y are variables. Now, in solving this two linear equation, we can have the solutions of system. When we say solutions of systems, this is or are ordered pair or pairs that makes both equations true. Okay. Now, these solutions of systems can have three possible outcomes and can be identified in yes graph first we have here the inconsistent system now when can we say that a system is inconsistent anyone okay we can say that a system is inconsistent if the graph here shows that the two lines form as one or the second line just lies beneath the first line now as defined here inconsistent system is a system that has infinite solutions we can say that it is infinite because the ordered pairs that lies from this line to this are considered the solutions of system second we have here the consistent or independent system now based on this graph when can we say that a system is consistent or independent anyone okay very good we can say that a system is consistent or independent if the two lines intersect at each other as defined here consistent or independent system is a system that has at least one solution so this point of intersection here is the only solution of the system the third and the last one is consistent or dependent system now based on this graph we can say that a system is consistent or dependent if the two lines are parallel to each other now as defined here consistent or dependent system is a system that has no solution why because there wasn't an intersection happen in this graph so there is no solution of the system. Again, what are the three possible outcomes of the solutions of system? First, we have here the inconsistent system. Second, we have here the consistent and independent system. And lastly, we have here the consistent or dependent system. Now, there are three ways in solving system of linear equations in two variables. First, we have here the graphing or graphical method. Second, we have here the substitution method. And lastly, we have here the elimination method. Now, I have here the steps in solving by graphing. So, first step. Can you read everyone? First, we write the linear equations in slope-intercept form in a form of y equals mx plus b, uh, where m is equal to slope and b is y-intercept. Second, we have here, write the equivalent system and graph the lines on the same set of axes. And third, we have here, Use the graph to estimate the point where the lines intersect. And lastly, we have here, check. Check if the ordered pairs or the solution is correct. Now, we are going to apply 
the steps in solving by graphing into this example y equals 2x minus 3 and 2x plus y equals 4 equals 1 so now first step we have to write the linear equations into slope intercept form since the first equation here is already in a slope intercept form. We have to proceed to the next equation which is 2x plus y equals 1. So 2x plus y equals 1. So in order to isolate these y variables, we have to cancel this positive 2x so we are going to use the addition of property of equality so we have to add both sides negative 2x to cancel this positive 2x okay 2x plus minus 2x plus y equals 2 1 minus 2x okay we have to cancel this 2x and we will have y equals 1 minus 2x now we have to arrange this into slope intercept form so y equals negative 2x plus 1 so from here 2x plus y equals 1 to slope intercept form y equals negative 2x plus 1 now for our second step we have to find the equivalent of the system so for our slope we have here the m sub 1 and for the y intercept we have here the b sub 1 now, for our slope, we have here, yes, 2. Remember that this 2 has the denominator of 1, which is rise over 1 or the change of y over the change of x. Next, we have here the base of 1 or the y-intercept, which is, yes, negative 3. Now for our second equation, we have here m sub 2. So now what is our slope for our second equation? Yes, very good. We have here negative 2. Remember that there is a denominator here which is 1. And for our y-intercept, we have here what very good positive one or zero one now we are going to plot this slope and y-intercept so first let's begin with the y-intercept of the first equation which is negative three or the zero negative three so we have to find the zero negative three so one two three now for our slope we have here two remember that this two has a denominator of one which is this two we have to rise because it is positive and if it is negative we have to go downward and for our denominator we have to go to the right since it is positive and if it is negative we have to go to the left okay so from here in negative 3 we have to rise 2 into 2 okay 1 2 and we have to go to the right into 1 Okay, 1, 2, and 1. So our point here is in 1, negative 1. 
Now we have our first line here. Now we will proceed to our second equation. Let's begin with the y intercept 0, 1. So we have to find this in our y axis 0, 1. Okay, we have to plot this point. Okay, now for our second point, remember that this 2 has a denominator of 1. Or negative 2 has the denominator of 1. So since it is negative 2, we have to go downward. If it is positive, we have to rise. And if it is negative, we have to go downward. So, from this one, we have to move two units down. So, one, two. And we have to move one unit to the right since it is positive. So, from here, negative one. We have to move one unit here, so our point will be in this negative 1 and 1. So we have to connect the dots or the point. Now we already have our second line. Now in this graph, do we have a solution? Anyone? Yes, very good. We have the solution. We have a solution in this graph. Now, what type of system is this? Very good. This is consistent or independent system. Now, we have to get the point of intersection of this graph. Okay, so the point of intersection is in here so it is one negative one okay one ordered pair of one and negative one now for our last step we have to check this ordered pair so first, we have here the first equation, y equals 2x minus 3. So we have to substitute. y is negative 1 and 2x is, or the x is, yes, 1, 2 times 1 minus 3, okay? Copy this, negative 1 equals 2 times 1 equals 2 minus 3. Okay, we have to copy this, negative 1 equals 2 minus 3 equals negative 1. So, for our first equation, the ordered pair or the solution is correct since the answer is equal. Now let's proceed to our second equation. 2x plus y equal to 1. Okay, so we have to substitute this x into 1 and y into negative 1. Okay, equals 1. Now, 2 times 1 equals 2. And positive times negative 1 equals negative 1 equals. Copy the 1. Now, 2 minus 1 equals 1 equals 2, 1. So, the second equation is also equal, which means that positive 1 and negative 1 ordered pair is the solution of this equation. Now, any questions or clarifications about this solving by graphing? Anyone? 
Now let's proceed to the second step, which is the substitution. Alright, did you understand the grouping method of Miss J. Marie Anias? Very good. Very good. Very intelligent class. Now, let us proceed to the other method, which is... Mm, elimination? No. We will have first the substitution. And I will be the one to discuss that. Okay, you should listen carefully. Now, there are steps or procedures to be followed in order to solve the equations, no? the problem given. Alright, now these are the steps or procedures we have to follow in order to get the correct answer or in order, in order to solve the equation here now we have here our procedures everyone can you read please steps to solve linear equation by substitution method a solve for one variable in terms of other variable in one of the equations B. Substitute the second equation to the value of the variable found in the first step. Simplify, then solve the resulting equation. C. Substitute the value obtained in B to any of the original equations to find the value of other variable. Alright, class, did you understand what you had read? Oh? Yes. In the first... Uh, sentence it states that solve for one variable in terms of other variable in one of the equation first we will solve or figure out look for one variable in the equation example of an equation is 2x plus 5y equals to 5 that's one of the equations 